Good evening guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our Bitcoin evening wrap. So if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button, we will go straight over to those charts. Happy happy Saturday night everybody anyway. Hope you guys are up to up to something more fun than what I'm doing sat at home looking at charts cuz uh, cuz the bars aren't open or they are open but they're not worth going to. Um but yeah, so um yeah, over to the charts anyway. So for that, yeah, so basically we can pretty much see um we had a little bit of a hunt down today which I mean in reality wasn't actually very far. <laughs> um but i mean we're back at um we're back towards that 11,900 area now um so yeah it's obviously, obviously a bullish sign we tried to, we tried to go down we tried to test down but we got bought up basically straight away um so yeah clearly bullish clearly bullish guys so as you can see when you get these wicks below price then tends to go up after um so i mean we are we're on the we're on the, the precipice i feel like it feel like we think we're, we are close um to getting a resolution even if it is a liquidity hunt to the upside and then a slam back down to the bottom side um in in very similar fashion to what we had here um where we had a liquidity hint to the, a liquidity hunt to the upside and then a slam back down and then actually a liquidity hunt to the downside and then a basically a move back up um but yeah i wouldn't be surprised to see something similar even if it is even if it's not as um severe as this and we we pop above 12k maybe 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 12,200 12,300 and then find ourselves pretty quickly back down at this 11 well say 11,006 11,700 i would not be surprised if that happened um but um but yeah i mean I just it's just it's just the fact that we break up and go up and up and up um, at the weekend is just what I just don't I just don't like to accept that could happen but obviously it could happen it obviously could happen but um, yeah I mean you just don't necessarily want it to happen at the weekend when CMEs are open when major markets are open when lots of traders aren't there trading um, because yeah it's great if it does it great if it does happen and move up but it would kind of leave we leave air gaps below us in the sense that the people there that would have would have reacted or done certain things at that time weren't there um so um the full the full um participation of the market um wouldn't be obviously involved with a breakup but um that is not to say that it can't happen and it certainly can we certainly have seen moves big moves at the weekend i definitely remember them over over the past having big moves at the weekend when i've been out and about doing stuff and i've been looking at my phone and been like oh wow is that really happening um but yeah um we'll have a look um see if we can see anything on any tds that are of note um i don't think we will um let's look at the, t the 12 hour sorry um nothing on the 12 hour and the daily won't be it won't be near anything either um literally just price flipping so let's have a look at what the stokes are doing i've got a pretty good idea what they're going to be doing um but yeah for a four hour yeah you can see four hours turned over coming back down um i mean it's going to be it's going to be a bit of a drag on price but it may only be a drag on so far as the fact we we just stay in state we stay trapped at this range until obviously they call off and turn back up um 10 hour stochastics are yeah still moving up they still got room to run looking like they're gonna try if we don't make a move soon um to turn back down 12 hours look amazing though these look fantastic these do um i mean so far as trend lines concerned that's basically getting picked up around about the trend line this does look really good to me um yeah this just looks really good not really much else to say this last this this can this can steam us up through this 12k region easily um the 12 hour can and daily i mean if daily turn does to just fully and formally confirm um a mo like that is basically moving up um then yeah i think we will we could get some we could basically get through this level we're obviously mature <laughs> in this ascending triangle how we've drawn it now obviously we know that we have adjusted it uh, we are all aware of that fact so um yeah there's no um there's no um <laughs> misleading anyone there we had did have it drawn more aggressively um and then we basically slammed down so we looked to draw it a bit differently so um but yeah all in all realistically um everything's bullish until it isn't looks like we're going to break up until we maybe don't or we fake out um i would rather it wait until monday to make the move but hey um who knows what would happen um but um yeah that is, that is to be honest is it guys there isn't too much for me to say um altcoins have been um 
had a bit of a mixed couple of days actually um to be honest um i feel like altcoins have been anticipating um a break in here a break in this market so they're sort of um there's a sort of a cool off in in some of them obviously not all of them um, obviously some of them are doing like fantastically well but i think the broader market in fact we'll look at the we'll have a look at the uh, btcd but the bt um c d <laughs> this is just a market ticker thing this is like just something that i just have a habit of talking about uh so i have a habit of um just calling it its ticker um yeah i mean it has been dropping but i don't think that is that's not that um link link is becoming a bigger bigger part and ethereum is becoming a big part so um this is driving it down and that's not to say that the i mean we kind of need a bitcoin dominance <laughs> we kind of need a bitcoin dominance uh minus bitcoin minus link minus ethereum um so we can get more of a gauge of the um the the other coins because obviously bitcoin being the behemoth um ethereum um becoming even bigger um relative to um what it was before compared to bitcoin um and then link as well um so i feel this is skewing the results from a lot of um yeah it's just skewing the results but um but anyway you can see what's happening we had this line drawn guys we basically said um when we looked at this look we're going to lose this level uh 62s and this was basically our target and i mean i would call that basically hitting our target um pretty much um so so does that mean we're going to play out this range or do we just take out the next target there's nothing so we can't take out the next target we will get a td9 in a couple of days um say tuesday so um maybe maybe bitcoin will um play sideways for straight people for a couple more days hit that btc dominance nine bitcoin have a pop-up and bitcoin dominance have a pop-up with it hey hey wouldn't that be a wouldn't that be a magical uh, prediction prediction for the um the td sequential um wouldn't wouldn't it just be guys um let's have a look at the weekly is there anything interesting on the weekly yeah we had a nine we did in fact um rally off the nine as you can see but we subsequently got slammed down that's what you'll often see in a bearish market you'll get a buy nine you do have a, a reaction off it you get slammed below it and you continue down um same to the upside you can get like a, a sell nine you basically have some weakness off it maybe come down a bit and then you just continue your upwards trend um so so yeah i mean we are in a bit of a limbo we are in a point where you can see we're in a tight formation so obviously um ranges are not going to be as as necessarily wide as they have been and um, we've obviously got this contraction in volatility um so um yeah that's um that's kind of it guys that's um all i really have to say to be honest um obviously it's been a saturday it's not much not happened nothing happened in wider markets for me to um <laughs> discuss <laughs> or have a rant over um in all fairness so um yeah i hope you guys like i said i hope you guys are having a great saturday evening enjoying your weekend um things will go back to normal one day i'm sure i'm sure i'm sure they'll go back to one day <laughs> normal they'll go back to one day normally <laughs> yeah they'll go back to one day and then we can we can enjoy us our weekends again um so yeah thanks for listening guys remember this is not a financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and i will speak to you guys in the morning